Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about whether coding is required for an AWS certified individual, more specifically, AWS Solutions Architect or AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Also, I'm going to list 10 challenges that you may face along your learning journey. So let's dive right in. The coding skills required for a DevOps Engineer may vary depending on the specific job requirements and the technology stack that is used by the organization. But here are some common programming languages and tools that a DevOps engineer might need to be familiar with. For example, scripting languages, they often use scripting languages like Bash, Python, and PowerShell, right, to automate small tasks, write scripts that are used to manage and deploy code. For example, configuration management tools, the DevOps engineers are responsible for managing infrastructure and deploying applications, right? So you need to be familiar with tools like Ansible, Puppet, or Chef to automate the configuration of servers and deploy applications on them. Next is version controls. So DevOps engineers need to be familiar with version control systems like Git and SVN, right? To manage code repositories and collaborate with developers. Cloud technologies, for example, many enterprise organizations they use Azure, they use Google Cloud, they use AWS to host their application. They're working across the environment platform, right? So DevOps engineers need to be familiar with the APIs and services offered by these platforms, manage and deploy applications. You'll also be able to know containerization like Docker and Kubernetes is also and becoming increasingly popular for deploying applications. Now DevOps engineers need to be familiar with these tools and know how to manage containerized applications. So overall, a DevOps engineer needs to have a good understanding of software development principles and be able to work with wide range of tools and technologies to automate and manage the software development lifecycle. So next, I'm gonna give you some 10 challenges that you may face as a DevOps engineer, right? First is collaboration. So effective collaboration requires clear communication and sharing of knowledge between teams. For example, developers and operations teams may have different priorities or objectives, right? That can cause friction and slow down the delivery of software. Now, by fostering a culture of collaboration, teams can work together more effectively to de deliver high-quality software faster. Next is continuous integration and deployment, also known as the CICD. Now, this requires the implementation of automated testing and deployment in pipelines that run on every code change. So for example, a development team may use a tool like Jenkins to automatically build and test code changes with the goal of reducing the time between code change and deployment, right, to production. Now, next is automation, which is critical to the success of DevOps, allowing teams or yourself to, you know, span across teams, right, reduce errors. So automation is helpful because you're you know, cutting down all of the extra time that you need and increasing efficiency. Next is scalability, which is also a critical consideration when designing systems within DevOps. For example, an application may need to scale horizontally across multiple servers or vertically by adding more resources to a single server. Now, ensuring that systems can scale efficiently is essential for handling changes and demand or usage. Next is security, which is, of course, a critical concern in DevOps, and teams must be vigilant how to implement robust security practices. For example, a DevOps team may implement secure coding practices, regularly perform vulnerability scans, or do penetration testing, right, and implement strict access controls to protect systems and data from threats. Next is monitoring. Now, monitoring and logging are also important in DevOps, right, to detect and diagnose issues you know, effectively. For example, you can use like uh, Datadog, for example, to monitor server health, track application performance, right, or detect security threats. Next is infrastructure as a code, right, ISC, tools like Terraform or CloudFormation are essential in DevOps, right, for automating the creation and provisioning of resources across multiple platforms. For example, you may use ISC to deploy servers, databases, and other resources in the cloud, ensuring that they're created consistently and with minimal manual intervention. Another important is technical debt. This can accumulate when short-term solutions are implemented quickly to address pressing issues. For example, a development team 
may implement a quick fix to a bug, but to meet a deadline. But this fix may create additional technical debt that must be addressed later. Now, resistance to change is absolutely important, right? Especially in larger organizations when you know working with multiple teams. For example, some teams may be resistant to adopting new technologies or processes, or maybe there's cultural resistance to change and how work is done. Now, overcoming this resistance requires effective communication and collaboration across teams. Next challenge is continuous learning, right? Teams must continue to learn, and you as a DevOps engineer needs to be on top of things. For example, you may need to learn new tools and technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, or adapt to new software development practices like Agile methodology, right? Or other frameworks. Now, staying up to date with latest trends and technologies is not only challenging, but essential in maintaining a competitive edge in the industry. So, the first part was whether coding is required as a DevOps engineer or a solutions architect? Well, the simple answer is you don't need to be a programmer, right? You don't need to be a Python programmer or Java developer or whatever. But it's important to know the scripting aspects, right? For example, shell scripting or bash. That will help you automate a lot of the things within your pipeline. So next, we talked about the 10 different challenges that I just highlighted, right? And these are important because as you're you know, getting into the solutions architect role or the DevOps area, you need to be able to identify all these challenges and embrace these challenges. So as a DevOps certified professional or any AWS certified professional, it's, it's important to know that you'll be working with several, several tools, okay? Now, this entire course is, is covering all these tools one by one because in 23 hours of hands-on learning, you are not gonna miss any one of these tools. So it's just a matter of you dedicating time, sitting down, allocating enough space and time to learning hands-on skills. And of course, skills matter, right? So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions with this. Let's move to the next lesson.